There'd definitely be moments where I would feel really uncomfortable and just caught off guard. So for example, like I would be changing my locker and I would just, you know, there's always people talking in the locker room, in the background, behind you, wherever. Sometimes occasionally, like I would just hear a male sounding voice and kind of just jump up and be like, oh my gosh, someone who's not supposed to be in here is here. And then I would just jump myself back to reality and just say, okay, actually wait, that's just one of my teammates who sounds pretty masculine and they're supposed to be here and I can't believe I'm reacting this way. And I would kind of feel uncomfortable and then walk myself back. Again, I want this to be clear, Leah is not a predator. Leah did not do anything bad to us, never would have. I never suggested that they would have. It's just the idea that there might be inviting somebody who has bad intentions into our locker room. We were told there was nothing we could do about it. Our coaches said, no, like this person's on the team, they're gonna be in the locker room. People just felt hopeless. It wasn't that they didn't have opinions about it.